My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. Meet the Florida Green Water Snake. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've seen enough water snakes. Stop it with the water snakes. This is the last water snake, I promise. Anyway, check it out. Water snake right here. Oh, it's getting away. Oh, it's gone. Oh, do I have its tail? I do. It's a green water snake. Hold this light here. And carefully just pull him out. There we go. There you are. Hi. You're going to bite me, aren't you? Let's bring you out into the road, why don't we? Oh, you're wiggly. You're wiggly. There we are. Carefully. Okay. Check this out. This is a Florida green water snake. Now, if you've seen my episode about the Mississippi green water snake, you'll know that this is a very similar species. Obviously, this is a giant water snake. This is one of the largest water snakes in the state of Florida. And these guys are out here hunting at night. These guys often will come crossing roads just after sundown while the roads are still warm. And then after that, that's when they go into the water and start to hunt. That's when we saw this guy. This is probably one of the easiest snakes to tell apart from cottonmouths because they're not brown, they are green. Lots of the time, they'll just look pretty drab, but in the water, they have a beautiful checkered pattern. So look out for that because cottonmouths don't have that. And they're non-venomous, not something that can hurt you. All they can really do is bite you, and that, that bite's gonna draw some blood, but that's pretty much all they can do. Of course, they will musk, which is a really, really stinky substance that they let out of their cloaca, or their butt, to make them and you smell as horrible as possible. The reason that a lot of my episodes of snakes that you can find in Florida are water snakes is because they have much higher metabolisms than other snakes. So they're coming out and hunting pretty much all the time, no matter what the conditions are, Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the Florida green water snake. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. Water snakes have been super fun to feature on my channel. And despite that this is the last one I'll be featuring this season, I'm still hoping to find and talk about more of them in the future. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.